So today we've got this Raspberry Pi Zero W. Uh, this was used in a high heat environment. Um, and doing an, an initial inspection, I see that the uh, this component here is got some cracks on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. This component here. So I did a quick Google search and I found out that that is an inductor. So I do get some replacement inductors of the same type. How do you spell bad? B A D. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's take one of these out. Didn't look. Let's see if we can't get this off. Here's what I wrote. Written. Bad and good. Yeah. Very nice. All right, and there's a lot of sensitive components around here, including some plastic. So that's gonna make extraction a little difficult. Very nice. Here, hold it down here. Bad and good. Okay, so um, this one is the bad one, and then the other one right here is the um, good one. The good one, right. So what I'm gonna do is take some Kapton tape here and try to cover these sensitive components so we can use the hot air. And see if we can fix it. Yeah, see if we can get that one off. And we'll put the new one on. What new one? This new one right here, little component. It's a new inductor. Mm. All right, we'll turn on the hot air. Uh, I think I had this set pretty hot from the last uh, video I was working on, which was the PS3. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I want to get it about, I don't know, 450 degrees. I think I had it set to like 500 and something. Yeah, I had it set to 500 on the dot. So let's go down to 450. We got the airflow set to five. Uh, hopefully that'll be enough. I do need my tweezers though. I mean, you know where my tweezers are? No. Not my business. It can be your business. You can help me. All right. Well, let's give it a try. I think I'm actually gonna look from this way. All right, well, we got the old one off. No problem there. And the pads look like they're in pretty good shape. So I think I'm just gonna hit them with a little bit this of- This is how you draw basketball, Dad. Nice. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, that's very good. Very, very good. All right, so I got my replacement inductor. Uh, no inductors kind of have polarity, you should definitely put them on the same way that you took them off, but uh, they don't really have polarity at the same time, but it's best just to make sure they go the same way. So let me just do a little bit of soldering here, put some solder on the pads, just to make sure we get a good connection. All right, we'll get that solder melted. Does this look like important, Dad, so far? It looks very important. All right, I think that is firmly attached, seems to be. So I had a little bit of solder squirt out the side, a little too much on one side, but there's nothing there for it to uh, short out, so no problem. I'm gonna take off the Kapton tape now. It's still quite hot. All right. Let's put that off to the side. Dad, top. Dad. Yes, Lane. Look at the top. Up here. Lane. Oops, looks good. Oh, look. 
Lane plus Oaks equals... Lane Oaks. Nice. So I don't see any problems with any melted plastics. Everything else looks like it's in place and so nothing got moved by the hot air. So I think we're good. So it is a little warm. It was like a cool down. And then we'll plug it in and see if we get anything happening with this Pi Zero. All right, so we can see the new component soldered on there. That inductor right in the middle, right in the middle of the screen there. All right, so I think it's cool enough now. So put my SD card in and let's plug it in and see if anything explodes. Hopefully not, right? Yeah, it's not a very big inductor. Editor John here. So while I did successfully replace the inductor on this Raspberry Pi, it unfortunately continues to not work when I reapply power to it. Uh, sometimes the LED status will flash a bunch. Uh, sometimes it won't. The CPU gets extremely hot. Um, I did put a heat sink on it to try to mitigate some of the heat, but no luck there. I did end up pulling out the multimeter and checking the rails. Five volt rail is fine. Uh, of course, it's getting five volt from USB, but the 3.3 volt rail is only getting about 1.8 volts. So uh, I think this Raspberry Pi is dead. Um, don't think there's any chance of bringing this one back to life, but hope you enjoyed watching me do a surface mount uh, component repair. Uh, I certainly have done a few of them in my past, but this one was a um, fun and tricky one. Uh, happy to use the Kapton tape I bought all those years ago and haven't had much opportunity to use. So anyway, thanks for sticking with me to the end. Hope you had a good time watching the video, and I will see you next time.